In today's episode, I'm going to show you how I took this wrecked Mustang and fixed it up to bring it back to the track. All around, the car is in pretty bad condition, I would say. The junkyard has it as a two-star. Right, the car only cost like 10k to bring over here and it was a two star in terms of how uh in terms of the condition of the car so it wasn't in the worst but it was not definitely was not in the best condition so we're just going to clean up the inside and outside and then we'll put it on the lift i really don't know what to think about this like body style of mustang everybody hates the uh like the 90s style of mustang not the fox body the like late 90s mustangs this really reminds me of it. Like, I, you could definitely see that they took inspiration from that and just modified it, I think. I'm an idiot. I thought that the Mustang uh, body style changed when we entered the 2000s. That was wrong. It stayed the same from when they introduced that fourth gen all the way up until like 2005 when they introduced the fifth gen. So that's my bad. All right, the plan is to turn this into a drag car. So this thing's gonna have to be in good enough condition to go curling down a track at hundreds of miles per hour. Probably like 200 miles per hour. But I don't want it to have too much power where it's uncontrollable. So I do have to be wary of that. Oh, that's cool, they have the battery back here too? All right. I'm liking this thing, I'm liking this thing. I might be able to fix up some of the stuff, maybe not, I gotta see. Got this one piece at all i believe that's all so i'm gonna go see if i can repair any of this put it back on the car and save some money i think i was actually able to save like everything that i took off the car except the glass so before i put the body panels on where is my welder let's fix up the frame because it is in a rough condition only 500 bucks wow it's relatively cheap chip yes cheap <laughs> damn look at that blue Holy bluish purple. We might no, it's eh, a little bit. You can see a little bit of purple with the light shining on it. Hard enough. I like that. All right, let's see what this looks like when you start putting the body panels back on. Okay, apparently even the stuff that I took off got polished. Yeah, I wasn't able to see if the bumper. I have to remember that's the F. Both of the headlights got saved, which is shocking because normally in most cars you can't save the headlights even if they're in decent condition you're unable to repair them but on this car we were um i don't believe i took off any sky side skirts yes yeah, so i don't have those i gotta buy those <laughs> definitely don't have the parachute yet that's gonna be sick oh and there's like a i didn't even know there's a wing to it i thought it was just a parachute that is dope let me see if i can squeeze past get these taillights in all right, this thing is gonna be so freaking cool. Mm, okay, apparently, okay, apparently I'm missing a lot more stuff than I thought. I should have everything now. Actually, I'm gonna need the mirror and window for this side. I didn't get that yet. It wasn't available yet. I'll have to change that out. Look how cool this is. Come on, there we go. It is so freaking dope. I don't know if I'm gonna have that much horsepower. I wonder like, what's the rating of horsepower that most people run when they have a huge wing like this alongside with uh, a parachute and wheelie bars? Like what's like the horsepower rating? Definitely somewhere in the thousands, I'm assuming. All right, that should be everything on the outside complete. So the frame and body should have been 100%. I don't know what is on the uh, body that's not been done yet. Oh, it might've been the exhaust. Forgot, sometimes the exhaust comes, um, it's like a uh, beauty piece almost because the actual exhaust isn't there. No. Oh, well, yeah, the actual exhaust stops right here. Yeah, okay, okay, I understand. So that's custom exhaust, basically. I was about to say, I pretty much did everything I could. I did forget those. Now we're complete. So now everything. Man, what else? What else? I'm actually dumbfounded. I have no clue. Oh, the grill. I didn't know that came out. Okay, now I'm not gonna check again because I know this thing's gonna be at 100. So we're definitely fine there. Now we can start working on the engine. I didn't even actually look up what condition the engine was in. It's honestly pretty decent. By the rust, you could tell that it looks like 
most of it's probably in the 20 or 30 percent in terms of durability so it definitely can be saved it looks like as for the suspension i'm gonna go with the same thing i think everything here is pretty much salvageable we'll see let me know what you guys think about this year mustang or this body style i definitely prefer the fox body over probably every other mustang uh body style but this one's up there too definitely up there personally i was never really a big mustang guy i always liked thunderbirds which uses the same up until i think the 90 i want to say like 90 90s thunderbirds they use the same uh, platform so they all ran off the uh, Fox body uh, frame or platform, which is pretty cool. All right, all the suspension stuff is the same based on every car for the most part. So I'm just gonna cut to when this thing is all repaired. I'm just gonna take it, see if I can salvage the parts and reuse them. All right, there is the suspension all fixed up. I was able to save a majority of it. I wanna say like 90%. I only had to buy a few parts. It came out really nice. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this engine out. First, I want to look at the uh, horsepower that's making stock. What? <laughs> okay. So I was going to do power upgrades. I did do a uh, um, performance, ex performance exhaust down there, but that's a lot of power already. I know I could probably make this at least 2000 something, but I want to keep this on the road for the test because i'm just going to go to the uh normal test area and i really don't want to end up in the sand like an average mustang owner so we're just going to pull this out and just clean everything up and put new parts on it these engines take a while to get uh or to rebuild taking them apart takes like 15 minutes and then putting it together is another 15. wow I'm gonna say the same thing about this engine that I think that everything on it is probably salvageable. It's, again, it's probably gonna be the 20 to 30 percentile. So we'll see. This is actually one of my favorite engines to build these types of engines because they're complicated, but they're not too complicated that uh, they become like a chore. Like the V12, some of the V12 engines in this game are just a pain to take apart. These supercharged ones aren't too bad, at least for the V8s. Remember I said uh, this was great because uh, it wasn't too complicated? Which pulley would you pull off? Belt tensioner, I'm assuming. There's a lot of pulleys on this car. Not belt tensioner, okay. Um, This one, it's on the outer side, yes. So now I can take that belt off, okay. Now this one? No. It is a full-on guessing game out here. Which one would you take off? This is so confusing. There's no, there's no, not even a tension on it anymore. There we go. If I had to take off the other belt first, probably. Okay. And there's a lot of parts to this damn engine. I was actually wrong. A lot of this stuff, or some of this stuff, is actually in the 40s. So I was a little bit wrong on this one. A lot of it's in the 30s and 40s in terms of damage. All right, let's get to building this engine. Should be simple enough. Ooh, whatever. I got to make sure I don't put any performance parts on this. So I'm on PC and I don't know how to feather the throttle in this game, which is a problem because this is a high ass horsepower car. So that's why I'm going to not go performance cars because I would like this to actually actually go down the track in a straight line. The build process, taking it apart was super easy, so the build process is going to be similar. Let me flip this to the left. Get out of my way, alternator. The only thing I don't like about this game is they don't label the engines by what they actually are. Like, I wish they would have got the licenses uh, earlier on. So they can actually put the real names of the engine engines in. And then have the actual options. Kind of like Forza, how you could pick. Most of the time, you can sort of pick. They have a selection. It's not always the exact engine, but... It would be dope. Because I believe this car had 
I believe it was three options. I'm going off the of Thunderbird because I know that they had similar options in the 90s. I'm not sure how they changed it. I believe it was the 5.0, which was a V8. The 4. Point, I want to say 4.6, maybe it's 4.7 V8. And then uh, that's not a good one. Um, and then it was a V6. So I'm pretty sure they had three options. I am almost out of spark plugs. Let's see if I can put mostly normal spark plugs in this. I think just think it would be cool if you had that option to uh, build the actual engines. Also, there should be more variations in this game. In fact, this is actually from the Steam Workshop. It's impressive that people are able to build cars this nice, considering they're not even working at the studio. Then there should be like way more options of what kind of car you can do. Drag car, like every, most of the muscle cars should be able, to, you should be able to turn them into drag cars. Or the versions that you can get out of the junkyard should be, there should be a drag car option for like most of the muscle cars. I think there's a lot of uh, room to grow for this game. Hopefully the next one comes out soon. And they add a little bit more. Also wiring. I think I said this in a prior video. Imagine wiring, wiring this thing up. You could legitimately use this as a teaching tool. Because before when I started playing this, before I played this game, I didn't know that much about cars. I know like the basics. But actually building the engines, you learn a lot more. Obviously not as in depth, but definitely, definitely helps. At the end of the day, this game is still pretty, pretty solid. I just don't enjoy the DLCs because they kind of are recycled. The Ford one, which I think is the most recent one, was definitely recycled from the old uh, car mechanic simulator. But that's fine. At least we have people making these mods. Yeah, I, I don't have any more stock coils. So I'm just going to use these the red ones. I'm going to predict the horsepower on this thing is going to be like 1,600 with all the parts. That's a fair uh, estimate. I believe we're all done. That was a pretty solid build. It went quite quick. Take this off and let's uh, throw it in the car. Can't wait to dyno this thing and see what we're making. Should be a decent amount. All right. So now I'm gonna just put all the small features in like the cooling system. I'm gonna put a performance trans in it and then I'm gonna put the stock rims and everything's on it. So I'll be back when that's done. All right, here's the car fully done. Is that front wheel annoying anybody else? Just saying. I think that I'm gonna up profile on that because it just looks so much smaller than I want it to. Um, all right, let me see if I up the profile on it, if it looks any better. There we go, that looks much better than before. This compared to that. All right, so let's switch out this room and then we're going to go paint job. Um, make sure that the steering is straight and then we're going to go to the uh, track. See how it performs. All right, now we're ready to go. How do I move this? To there we go. Let's bring it to the paint booth. Get this stick a nice coat of paint going. I'm assuming we do the same type of blue. Maybe we go for like a more of a yeah, sort of. Eh. I don't know. Maybe we can get a different blue. Maybe that. I like the way that looks. Let's see if we can get a uh, decent livery on here. Let's like kill Mach 1. <laughs> Alright, we're going to change this to... The, I think it was 10 with the black Mustang. No, it's number nine. I think that looks good. Um, there we go. Now, what else do we have to do? Tint it out. I forgot to do that. Bring it back into the shop real quick. We'll tint it. We'll get the alignment done. And we'll bring it to the track. So I'll get that done real quick and meet you guys at the track. Holy shit. I did not mean to put that many performance parts in. I might need to plug a controller in to fix this, or to at least control this. All right, <laughs> this is what she looks like. Oh, where am I? Oh my God, which camera angle? There we go. This is what it looks like. 
pretty cool, in my opinion. The only problem is we need to stay on this track without going into the dirt. And I am on keyboard and mouse, so wheel spin's gonna be a problem, but we'll try it. Ooh. All right, let's try that again. All right, I plug the controller in. Let's see how we do. We're gonna go nice and easy. Feather it in out here. So far, so good. Give it a little bit more. All right, full throttle now. My record at this track is 290. Oh, I hit the, no, oh, I turned a little bit. Oh, that sucks. I fucked it up. All right, it is time once again. Very slight adjustments I need to make instead of just turning hard. Very slight adjustment, there we go. 200. 230. 250. 280. 280. Almost 290. You could probably hit 290. Let's try that one more time. All right, all right. Keep it on the track, keep it on the track. Let's get into third gear and then we'll bomb it. There we go. Small adjustment, too big of an adjustment. Oh my god, we almost just went out of the course. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next one.